안녕하세요 여러분. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sean. In this lesson, I'm going to give you seven tips that you can start doing today to make your English sound more natural, more like a native speaker. Also, I want to say that this video is sponsored by italki. Italki is probably one of the best online resources for one-on-one -on -one language tutoring. In this case, for you guys, English. On italki, you can learn English from native English speakers from all around the world. You can even select the country you want your teacher to be from. And if you click the link down below, you can get a small discount when you sign up. Now, let's begin with the seven tips that you can start doing today to make your English sound like a native speaker. By the way, as you guys probably know, I'm American, so I'm only talking about American pronunciation. British English, Australian English, and other dialects of English have different pronunciation rules. Let's start with this sentence. Most English learners will read it like this. What do you want to do? In American English though, native speakers say it like this. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? I think many people already know that native speakers don't say, what do you want to? Instead, we say wanna. But I want to add though, that we don't say, what do you want to do? We say, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? I want to eat dinner than watch a movie. What do you wanna? What do you want to do? What do you want to eat? What do you want to see? What do you want to eat? I want to eat some pizza. Here's the next sentence. Most English learners will say this. I'm going to see my friend later. And if you've been studying English for a little while, you might say this. I'm going to see my friend later. But native speakers actually say this. I'm going to see my friend later. I'm going to see my friend later. I'm gonna see my friend later. Don't you have to meet your friend now? Now nah, I'm gonna meet him tonight. So I'm going to turns into I'm gonna. I'm gonna cook dinner now. I'm gonna see a movie later. I'm gonna call my mother now. I'm gonna talk to my boss later about this issue. All right, sounds good. Here's the next sentence. Many English learners will say this. What did you do yesterday? However, native speakers actually say this. What'd you do yesterday? What'd you do yesterday? What'd you do yesterday? What'd you do yesterday? So if you're talking naturally and fast, it's too difficult to say, what did you do? So we just say, what'd you do? What'd you do yesterday? What'd you do last week? What'd you do this morning? So any question that has a did and a you, like what did you do? Or what did you eat? You can just say, What'd you do? Of course, when you say it slow, it sounds a little weird, but when you say it naturally, what'd you do? What'd you eat? This is how native speakers pronounce this. Why'd you leave the party so early? I was so tired from work. I just didn't have any energy to talk to people. Let's move on to the next example. Many English learners will say this. How'd he do it? But native speakers actually say this. How'd he do it? How'd he do it? How'd he do it? It's too difficult to say how'd he do it when you're speaking quickly and naturally. So we just say how'd he do it? How'd he do it? Hey, did you hear? John made a ton of money this year. How'd he do that? It almost sounds like you're a cowboy, right? Howdy, y'all. How'd he do it? How'd he do it? So whenever there's a did followed by a he, you can just say how'd he do it? What did he say? What'd he say? What'd he say? Who did he talk to? Who'd he talk to? Hey, is John here? No. Where'd he go? Not sure. Let's move on to the next example. Most English learners will say this. I'm trying to find a good place to stay. But native speakers actually say this. I'm trying to find a good place to stay. I'm trying to find a good place to stay. Since it's too difficult to say trying to, We just say, trying to. I'm trying to find a good place to stay in Singapore. I'm trying to find a good place to stay. I'm trying to find a job. I'm trying to understand. Wow, you look so healthy. Have you been working out? I'm trying to eat healthy and go to the gym more these days. Here's the next example. Many English learners will say this. Do you know what I mean? 
With this one, many people make the mistake and say this. You know what I mean? This is slang, and it's not wrong, but you wouldn't say this at the workplace or to your family. Instead, you would say this. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean. It's too difficult to say, do you know what I mean? When you're speaking naturally. So we say, you know what I mean. Hey, how's your new YouTube channel going? It's good, but I still have to find a good editor and an assistant. I just wanna find some good people and start producing content. You know what I mean? Here's the last example. Many English learners will say this. Some of the students are tired. But native speakers actually say this. Some of the students are tired. Some of the students are tired. Some of the. We don't say some of the, we say some of the. I think some of the students are tired. Some of the students are tired. Some of the buildings are old. Some of the apples are rotten. Should we start the meeting now? Some of the people haven't arrived yet. Let's wait five more minutes. All right guys, if you follow these examples, you're going to sound so much more like a native speaker. As a bonus, I will now show you a dialogue that includes all seven of these tips. Hey Bob, what'd you do on the weekend? I saw the new Avengers movie. Oh yeah? I saw it last week. What'd you think of it? It was pretty good. I really liked the ending. I'm gonna see it again next week with my friend. Anyway, what'd you do on the weekend? I went to my brother's bodybuilding competition. Oh wow, how'd he do? He got fifth place. Some of the other contestants were huge. Anyway, I'm really proud of him. Wow, that's amazing. I'd love to get some tips from him. I'm trying to put on some more muscle these days. You just have to follow a good routine. Consistency is so important. I know, but with work and my family, it's so hard to stay consistent with my diet and workout routine. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. If you want, I can help you make a good diet and workout plan. That would be great. All right, everyone. That's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Did you enjoy it? If so, please let me know in the comments down below. Once again, I'm Sean, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.